Hello everyone, welcome to Websense Pro, welcome to another Shopify how to video and in this video I'll show you guys how you can add product reviews to your Shopify store for free. An app which you will be using is completely free of cost. Yes, you heard it right. I'm reviewing a Shopify app which has a ton of functionalities and uh, you can add reviews, you can add questions, you can add verified reviews, you can automate the review collection process and you can also create discount code to motivate your visitors for adding more reviews. Ton of features for freely available in this app. So the app which I'm going to be using is this one. So as you can see on my screen, product reviews app, UGC Q&A. And as you can see, it's completely free. You don't have to pay anything to use this app. Now, let me tell you the features which this app is offering. So as you can see, it has this cool looking widget which will be showing up on your store and it's mobile friendly and it's really simple and easy to install which i'm going to show you guys in this video so make sure to watch the complete video and also don't forget to subscribe the channel if you want to keep learning about shopify web design and web development because we keep creating video for you guys to enhance the user experience of your shopify store and your web design okay so uh, as you can see the widget of this app which we'll be adding on our store. And we can also customize the color scheme. We can also add our own branding for the stars, for the fonts, and for the uh, all of the features which are showing up through this app. The app has multiple languages feature. So you can also add reviews on the multiple language. It supports multiple languages. It has advanced analytics to show which product reviews are being watched by your users so really awesome dashboard which you can see on your uh, Shopify backend and as you can see all the automated emails to boost reviews and the customer royalty by adding more reviews so you can generate coupon and discount codes when the order is fulfilled it's gonna ask you that for how long you want to add the delay to collect the customer review so you can add in all of the settings of the delay and you can collect the reviews after the product is fulfilled, after your order is fulfilled. And uh, it has an additional feature, which is for adding a widget to ask questions about the product. So it will add a widget on your product page, which will basically ask the users about the questions which they have in mind about the products. So you can collect more insights about the product which you are selling and improve it over the time by collecting feedback from the visitors. And that's before even uh, completing the order. So reviews show up when the product is delivered and the order is fulfilled. Then customer consumes the product and see if it's suitable for them or if they should add the review. But in this case, we can add the question and ask answer widget on our product page, which will basically help us sell more because client will be asking questions before actually adding the order. So that's a really important feature which everyone should have on their store. And uh, okay guys, so that's it for the features. Now let's jump ahead and install this app on our development store. I'm gonna show you guys how you can set up this app within five minutes. Okay, now I'm going to click on install and it's going to ask some permissions from you and Click on install again. So guys, our app has been installed and that's the screen which you'll be seeing after installing the app. Now, what we will do first is scroll down here and click on view more and then click on settings. So what it will do, it will give you a screen like this where you can set up everything. So first what I'm going to do, I'll upload my logo. So delete this one, click on add files. And then I have the logo file save here on my desktop. So I'm going to upload that. You can adjust the logo width and logo height. I'm going to leave it as it is for primary color. I'm going to switch it to the blue color, which I have on my logo. So let's switch it to the blue. I think that's similar. Perfect. Let's select this one for rating. We can select the icon, which we like. So there are four icons for the rating i think the first one is fine so i'm gonna skip selecting the other one okay and about the language we have the option to choose language you can see a lot of languages which we have available here 
for now i'm going to choose the english and then click on continue okay now the second step is that we will have to activate the extension by going to our theme settings in app embed so let's click on activate doran theme extension and it will open up a new window where we can enable the app embed. Okay, so as you can see, we have this option showing up, which we need to enable. Activate JSON LD is for uh, the search engine and for adding the JSON after adding the reviews. You can also activate the pop up and you can also add the custom CSS. Okay, now click on save. And after saving, let's go back to our setup. So we have enabled our scripts. Now we will add product reviews widget. So let's click on add product reviews widget and add a product review widget on the product page template. Again, it's going to open the new tab where we can simply add in our widget. Okay, you can see it already added this app and this app block, which will show our product reviews widget. Now we can simply drag and drop and display it wherever we want to display. So currently I have this product here and uh, we have you may also like section, which is and then we have this product review widget showing up. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide this one and just have it showing up here. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to hide the related products and going to show the review widget just below the product description. Perfect. Now hit save. Let's go back to the setup. And now we will add our question widget. So again, I already explained to you guys about the question widget. The review widget will work good once you have orders going on and once the order is completely delivered and fulfilled then you can collect the review using the automation settings in this app which i'm going to show you guys but the question which is widget is really important when you are looking to collect feedback before selling your product so that's a really cool feature which this app has and i couldn't find this thing on any other app so let's click on add product questions widget Again, it's going to open up on a new tab and we won't be, we won't need to do anything manually. It will automatically add in that, uh, app block for our questions and answer widget. Okay. So it's not adding that. I think we'll have to manually add it because it showed us an error that this page doesn't have any sections. So let's go back and hit refresh. Okay, it did work. So just had to refresh it and it now added the question widget. So that's how the question widget will look like. That's the question and we'll add a name and email and simply click on ask a question and we can inquire about the product before buying the product, right? So that's really important. So let's move this one below the description. Perfect and hit save. And now let's go back to our app setup. And now we will add our star rating widget, which we can display below the product title. Okay, now click on add star rating widget. Again, it's gonna open the new tab and automatically add the star rating widget on our product page. And here you can see it added the review section. So currently this product doesn't have any review. That's why it's showing no reviews. And you can see when we hover over, it shows how many five star, four star, three star, and like how many ratings which we have. That's really cool. So let's move it below the product title, which I think will look much better. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. And as you can see, when I hover over it, it shows us how many star reviews which we have. Perfect. Now let's click on save. And then let's go back to the setup. And here we can set up the discount. So if someone gives us a review, it will 
provide them with a coupon code which will give them 10% discount on their next order which is really cool feature to motivate your customers and visitors to add reviews about your products okay click on continue now on this screen you can adjust the interval that when do you want to send the email to ask for reviews so in this case once the order is fulfilled in 24 hours it will send an email after 48 hours which will ask for the reviews from our customers so it will automatically do that for you you don't have to manually stand in and ask for reviews after your order is fulfilled okay now let's click on continue again you can adjust the setting if you want 72 hours interval or you want to send it like after 48 hours after order is fulfilled so you can set up all the settings here okay now click on continue and here we go our setup has been completed now the review widget the question widget and the star rating widget is showing up on our product page and we can start collecting the reviews now and uh, they have the option to generate demo data so let's click on generate demo data to see how it's going to look so we have generated the demo data and if we go to now reviews we can see some dummy data which we have on our products so that review is approved let's check out the product page of how it looks i'm going to close the older tabs here okay so i had to refresh a couple of times and wait for a few minutes in order for reviews to show up on the product page and now we have our products review showing up you can see this pop up when you hover over the star rating widget which is really cool right and now when you scroll down you can see that's how our star reviews are reviews showing up again this is all the dummy data so i'm going to delete that obviously you don't want to show the dummy data but that's another test review which i just added and after you add the review it's going to send an email for the approval of that email and you can also add the option where you would not send the approval email so that op option is also available in this app there are some other cool features which i am showing you guys so first thing is that you can import reviews from other app so if you go to dashboard and click on start migration you have the option to import shopify product reviews uh, from the shopify native apps so shopify previously had an app which stopped working and they are no longer supported it was also a free app and if you are looking to migrate from shopify native product review app you can simply export all the products from that app and upload the csv file you can do the similar thing with the looks and with uh, this review app which is also available in shopify app store and you can also import it via spreadsheet so these are the methods through which you can import the reviews and some other cool features including analytics which is one of the most coolest feature um, which i have seen so you can see what are the product reviews which are being uh, viewed by your customer coming to your store so you can see which are the reviews responsible for giving you more orders on your product and uh, giving you more authenticity of your store so you can see all of the data when you go to this app and click on analytics also there are multiple integration options which we have available here so if you click on integration you can integrate it via shopify flow so shopify flow is basically a drag and drop automator an app i'm going to create a, a another video for shopify flow because it's it's a whole lot of features within shopify flow which i am going to show you guys in another video because it's going to be a very long video if i include that uh, you can integrate this app with Clevio. You can integrate this app with Aftership and OmniSend as well. So these are the cool features on this app. And all of these features are for free, right? So you should definitely try this app. Link will be in the description. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video, which I have created for you guys. Until next video, have a great day.